In this lesson, we'll discuss Hund's rule. This is the third rule used in determining how electrons distribute themselves in multi-electron atoms. Hund's rule tells us that if there aren't enough electrons to completely fill a subshell, then the electrons will arrange themselves to have the maximum number of parallel spins. This tells us two things. Since electrons within the same orbital have opposite spins, this means electrons will first occupy each orbital singly before pairing up in order to have the most number of parallel spins. Secondly, we know that when the orbitals are singly occupied, all the electrons will have parallel spins, meaning they're in the same direction. Let's see what this looks like. If we have an empty 2p subshell, electrons will begin by singly occupying each orbital. These three electrons will have their spin in the same direction. It doesn't make a difference whether all the spins are up or down, but the general notation is to draw upward spins first. Once each orbital has one electron, orbitals will then get filled with second electrons. Same goes for the 3d subshell. Five electrons will individually fill each orbital first, and then they'll begin to pair up. This rule holds true due to electron-electron repulsion. Since electrons repel each other, they prefer to be in separate orbitals, and will thus individually occupy orbitals if given the opportunity.